An update now on the two Huskies suspected of biting off the hand of a four-year-old earlier this month in Layton. ABC4's Rick Guerin says their owners decided to give up the dogs rather than to take on four citations. Well, Polar and Bear will not be euthanized, but they won't be going home either. This morning at 11.55 a.m., their owners signed their rights over to Davis County Animal Services. That was after the owners were notified that they were going to be cited for two counts of possession of dangerous animals and two counts of public nuisance animals. We had talked to the owners of the dogs yesterday. They were a little upset. Um, we gave them some time. We thought we were going to have to issue citations. Um, we got started that process. The owners contacted us this morning and the dogs were signed over to us. So going forward, we'll be looking for a rescue or sanctuary for the dogs um, somewhere outside of the state, most likely. The goal essentially for us was to find the best outcome for all parties involved. Unfortunately, it's one of those situations where uh, nobody wins. It's kind of just a lousy situation all around, um, but we're still looking for the best outcome in, in those circumstances. The dog's owner did not want to speak on camera, but told me that Polar and Bear provided emotional support for his wife and daughter and that he felt pressured by the county to give the dogs up. He added that the Huskies had never hurt anyone before. The dogs, in our opinion, aren't necessarily vicious. Um, they, they seem to be pretty decent dogs. Their care here, they've been decent with our staff. Um, and that's one of the reasons we're looking to uh, deal with a relocation rather than a euthanasia. Nick says that Polar and Bear will be neutered and microchipped before they're sent off to their new home, wherever that might be. Reporting in Fruit Heights, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Rick, thank you. Now, an online petition to save Polar and Bear's lives actually received more than 243,000 signatures. The boy's family has not done interviews, but today the boy's mother, uh, Hope Brown, posted this picture of her son Austin on Facebook explaining that his entire forearm was chewed off five centimeters below his elbow and detailing his long road to recovery, both physically and, of course, emotionally. Mm.